Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. My name is Skyline and welcome to another solo queue school. We're doing Soldier this time in High Diamond 3400 ish. This was sent in by a player named I See People, which is of course the Funimation censored version of the line from The Sixth Sense. And he has a bit of a unique issue. Now, this is a pretty common issue, but at the same time, most players have trouble with positioning in terms of they die too much, but this player is actually too safe. And we'll see. Well, unfortunately, our ferret dies pretty early on. Notice this is actually round three, right? So we've already played through quite a bit. And just to set this up a bit, in previous rounds, this player has died very little, played very well, but is a little bit scared. A little bit scared. He plays very far back, as you see. And so his actual impact is a bit mitigated. There's been a Widowmaker on the other team the entire time, a fair on the other team the entire time. And he's sort of been letting them bully him around. And they don't kill him, sure, but at the same time, the Widowmaker has been preventing him from doing a lot. The fair has been preventing him from doing a lot. And so you can see, yeah, he's getting a little bit of pokey pokey here and there, but overall in that fight, he didn't do a whole lot of damage. Now, so that being said, Soldier is a little bit of a strange DPS in terms of he doesn't work like any of the others. So he's not a flanker. He's definitely not a flanker, but he has sprint. So you have a lot more flexibility to sort of be where you want to be. It's not like, for example, McCree here would be too slow. You couldn't just be like, oh, I'm McCree, I'm going to just go up there. You can't do that. Uh, but at the same time, you're not a Genji, you're not a Tracer. You aren't going to just go crazy and go nuts. You can try that, but in organized play or at higher levels of the ladder, you'll be punished every time. So, where do we want to be here as Soldier? This is a Widowmaker this little one pixel here. She's giving us a lot of trouble. There's a Pharah in the air somewhere around here, going around doing whatever she wants, basically. How can we stop this as Soldier? Well, we're going to see that we're just going to get zoned out by the Widowmaker. You can't beat her from this range. Going and sprinting up towards her and trying to make a more aggressive play, like we were talking about before uh, on the high ground of the first point, would allow us to deal with this not, you know, not too badly. Plus a visor from behind, they're basically in overtime. That you just need to win one fight. I think that'd be pretty good. And so uh, our hero actually does it. Now our Lucio beat him to the punch, but you can see now, well, theoretically, if our Lucio wasn't just, just uh, you know, a deathmatch god, we would have been able to easily kill the Widowmaker here. And now we continue to push forward. And so now we're behind. Look at this, okay, it's, it's overtime. He decided to reposition a little bit. Very good decision, by the way. This is a much better position than the window. I think a lot of players would have just been like, okay, let's go from the window. But notice how much stronger this position is because you have this cover you can do. You can just jump down. Your team's much closer. So this was a good good decision by IC people. And uh, so they're just going to wipe this up. No problem. And uh, this, this position is insane. I, even though his team did a lot of work, IC people was able to do a ton a ton of work himself. Now he's just a little bit too close to the Roadhog there, which resulted in a hook. But fortunately, it didn't. And that could have potentially cost the game, right? Uh, even though I'm sure that anyone could recognize that mistake. But fortunately, his team holds it. Cool. Cool. Now we're going to skip to attack here. And uh, so attack and defense pretty much work the same way on King's Road. At least it has similar dynamics, similar priorities. And once again, our hero will have difficult time really putting it, really punching through and getting a good impact because, well, he'll just be playing really safely. And while safe is good, I love safe, dialing it up slowly is what you need to do after this. The, playing, sa playing overly safe is much easier to deal with than playing overly aggressive. I'll just tell you that much. And so here it'd be pretty good. So we know they have Widowmaker. The Widowmaker is back here in this window behind the statue. So going up the stairs around, pressuring the Widowmaker, you know, up the stairs around this way, would be pretty fantastic. Plus we would have the high ground, plus she couldn't bully us anymore, plus we'd be closer to the Pharah, who just killed herself, so that's pretty convenient for us. But, uh, so once he f happens to find himself in this location, he doesn't, but he, he jumps back down to the more passive position, and we see that he can't get too much done in this position. All right, so, be, once again, be more aggressive. On Soldier, it's very adaptive. You also have to think of your team composition as well. Let's look at the team comp. Well, we're not pressing tab, right? But we have a Reinhardt. We have a Lucio. We have uh, an Orisa. We don't really have any flankers. 
So nobody's going to deal with the Widowmaker. Also think about the enemy's team composition. Well, they have a Winston. That's a bit scary. But it's still just one Winston. They don't have much more in terms of high ground control. So if you can manage to dodge the Winston like here, if we just ran around, we would dodge the, inst the Winston pretty easily. Uh, well, I think, our, I think our team is pretty much dead at this point. But if we can just manage to dodge the Winston and take the high ground, there's really nothing that can contest us at all. And we would actually be on the high ground at this point if he had already rotated. And so the Mercy is going to come in and res. We popped Visor a little bit, a little bit early, because uh, our, our, this player has had a couple issues so far of popping the Visor after the fight was already sort of won. 20 seconds remaining. And now we, need, we still haven't taken the point. Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, run all the way back. One option here is to just, well, go up the high ground. Remember, it's just one Winston. You can run away usually from one Winston if it's early enough in the fight. Another option is to, fl is to go around this way. It's not like a flank, right? But you just want to reposition yourself on the side. It's very safe because you can just come back through a hotel if you get in danger. Lots of, lots of options. And in fact, we do wind up taking it eventually. And notice the, the Winston can't really do anything to us. It's just one Winston. One Winston can annoy us, but against like Orissa, there's a lot of a, a Lucio. There's a ton of peel back here to help you out. So you don't really need to worry about the Winston messing you up. You just need to worry about the Widowmaker and the Pharah. And so another visor will clean this up. Once again, probably an unnecessary visor. Plus, if you think of it from a macro perspective, from a long-term perspective, you can't lose another fight. You need to win one more fight. You have a much higher probability of winning this fight without Visor than you do of winning the next fight without Visor. And so take that into consideration. But once again, remember, they, they don't have a lot of dive. They do not have a lot of dive at all. All they have is a Widowmaker and a Farah. What's good against them? Well, go, going on all from alternate angles, going from high ground. So now even going up and around the stairs and going up into the high ground would potentially be a strong move here on soldier flanking around this side path as well all in order to try to deal with these characters we do have a genji on our team he's been kind of swapping back and forth but once again notice just one winston one winston will not kill us it's impossible and you uh, we even our hero even understands that he just straight up stands in, in the line of fire fortunately we're getting dove on right now so we can have a good amount of impact but you shouldn't have to have the other team dive on you and get into that close proximity in order to have the impact. You should be trying to get it by yourself. Plus, there's a Widowmaker in the back, so trying to shoot at you. At this point, it's pretty much too late, right? You have to go for it wherever positioning you're at. But you would you would notice how, you know, imagine if we were up here. If we are up behind on that high ground behind us, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Pretty, pretty good. So now we will just uh, we'll just wipe the fight up. Unfortunately, the Winston has an ultimate. It's just all down to aim at this point. And uh, like I said before, I see people very, very good as far as not dying positioning. In fact, we are even playing so passively that our Reinhardt gets an Earth Shatter, and instead of killing him, we say, "Okay, we need we need to heal." Super safe, the safest upon of safe of safety, like ever. Now, obvious. I think you definitely should have shot through the Earth Shatter right there. But your team does eventually wind up winning. However, really, that fight, that game should have been won. You could have won that by your own hand, but it got really sketchy and really close at the end because of just a, a little bit of lack of aggression. And I'm not saying go, and cra go crazy, right? You shouldn't die any more than you're dying now. Just one little, just step it up a kick. Be able to identify when team compositions are, aren't equipped to deal with you uh, having weird positioning. Like right now, they only had a Winston. Widowmaker's not going to mess with you. Farah, she's not going to mess with you because she doesn't want to get close. No one else had mobility. So you could have actually done all these, all this cool stuff without being punished. And that is one of the keys to breaking into Masters and beyond. Is It's not so much just playing safe and good all the time. That's a big part of it. That's a really huge part of it, is playing safe and good and consistent. But at the same time, you have to be able to identify mistakes and exploit them from the other team and exploit team compositions 
uh, and play differently depending. So big thanks to the Watered Down I See Dead People line for sending this in. It was a, it was a good game to watch. Now I know I've done I've done two soldiers this month. I'll probably go maybe do a Zarya, maybe do some heroes that I haven't done in a little while coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions down below. Never forget to stay positive and have a great day. See you soon.